I went into a poll, and that is <laughs> one of the uh, most favorited, most coveted lines that Diablo actually speaks. It's not even death can save you from me. Perfect. I'm getting that tattoo. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, well met. I'm Redgrave. And I'm Tabbykins. And we begin this week with a bit of sad news out of Blizzard headquarters. President Mike Morheim is stepping down as president of Blizzard Entertainment. Mike is a co-founder of the company back when they were called Silicon and Synapse. So he's been around since the very beginning and had a crucial role in the development of each of these games. Mike, thank you for all you've done and we're excited as ever for the direction you've left the company in. Mike will be stepping into an advisor role and former World of Warcraft producer J. Allen Brack will be taking over as president. In the announcements, Mike hinted at several new games in development under Jay, and Jay mentioned that we have some surprises at BlizzCon to look forward to. Speaking of games... Recently, my favorite fairy dragon Brightwing got herself a nice big update, and feedback so far has been really positive. People are saying the changes give her more utility and altogether make her more viable. Brightwing receives significant updates to her baseline healing and her level 20 blink ability can now grant stealth to herself and an ally. This can change much of how Brightwing is played. This comes along with a slight rework to Kerrigan and follows us discussing an Overwatch rework last week. And I've gotta say, I love that Blizzard is focused on this. Constantly pushing out new heroes is one way to keep players engaged and invite new players into a game. But for Blizzard to be spending so much time going back to old favorites and finding ways to make them fun, fair, and balanced shows that they've been listening to a lot of our feedback. Lastly, this week's brawl is the Punisher Arena, a no-holds-barred battle between the heroes and Punishers. Be the first team to win two rounds and claim victory, which in other words, it's a loot chest and dignity. The Azerite gear system in Battle for Azeroth has brought controversy in the past few weeks, and changes appear to be upcoming. I want to explain this as best as I can from the very beginning, so bear with me here. At the beginning of the Battle for Azeroth expansion story, the player is gifted with a neck piece of gear called the Heart of Azeroth. As you level through the game, so does your neck piece, becoming more and more powerful just as you do. Along with the neck piece, players attain certain pieces of gear, aptly dubbed Azerite gear, that become more powerful and useful as your necklace does. These pieces of gear also have selectable traits on them that give passive buffs to your character's core abilities and come arranged for your convenience on a tiny little pentagram. Now, let's talk about this. On September 25th, yeah, I know, we're a little behind, we're new, okay? A user on the WoW forum posted a lengthy post entitled, Azerite, Worst Itemization in WoW's History, winning all the awards for sensationalism this week. But Redgrave, just exactly why is Azerite gear so bad? Well, let's let Chaos Bun tell you. You can't target the gear you want. The vast majority of traits are useless and uninteresting. Every single gear change or upgrade requires simming. And okay, I'll stop there because the list goes on. But the point is, people have problems. When a core system and selling point of your expansion is causing the game to feel boring and a bit impossible, that's a problem. Blizzard knows that, which is why this happened. Blizzard community manager Lore responded in an official Blizzard blue post. In his response, Lore addresses much of the post's concerns acknowledging that the problems are real problems and challenging ones to solve. We're gonna jump ahead here a bit to avoid going long on while, but in short, the community felt some of Lore's responses were either dodging the question or doubling down on what the community has already determined is a bad idea. And now the big news. This past Wednesday night, Lore posted another blue post, laying out some changes coming to Azerite gear as soon as 8.1. Changes include more access to gear, more options when it comes to customization and more compelling traits. And this actionable, quick, honest response was followed by 10 posts of people saying how it's crap. Now look, I don't have a dog in this fight. My favorite thing about BFA is that I can play the things that are interesting to me and just not worry about the rest. I don't personally care about fine-tuning Azerite gear because I don't personally care about grinding artifact power to level my art of Azeroth because I don't personally care about island expeditions, okay? I said it. And the same could probably be said for a huge number of WoW players, but the important thing is that there are people who do and Blizzard is showing that they care about the experience of everyone. But that's exactly it. To accept that Blizzard should take your criticism seriously is to admit that Blizzard has to look out for the whole of the player base. You have to realize that these responses from Lore are in direct personal response to your criticism, but the changes they make have to work for everybody. 
Suggestions like just add Azerite drops to Mythic Plus are in direct contradiction to what the development team has already stated their goals are, to make Azerite gear fun and widely available to all players, no matter what your preferred playstyle is. Do I think the system is perfect? No. But these changes, which Lore says should be hitting the PTR in the near future, are a pretty good start. This week, the WCS Signature Series was announced bringing us a week-by-week -week glance into the personal lives of four of the 16 WCS finalists. This week, we took a closer look at Meru and followed his Terran journey from the beginning to winning all three GSL championships in 2018. Each week leading into the WCS Global Finals, we will get a similar glimpse into the lives of other finalists alongside Meru, including Special, Rogue, and Serral. We also got our first look at the groups for WCS, since all players and placements are now accounted for. Looks like we'll be seeing Meru in Game 1 facing off against German Zerg Lambo, and Serral will be going up against SOS in Group B. I want to be there now, please. <laughs> A new patch went live, introducing some of the changes we talked about last week. In it, we see the introduction of ranks 50 through 26, which includes such fascinating ranks as conch shell, butterfly, and my personal favorite, tree. We also got long-awaited Blizzard official confirmation that the innkeeper is only rank 26. I can't believe it. Can you? That's canon now. The patch also lays the groundwork for the Hollow's End event beginning October 17th and running through October 31st. This will include a purchasable Paladin hero, Sir Anoyo, and a special dual class arena, and the return of the Headless Horseman Brawl. And if you don't play Hearthstone, it's as good a time as any to start. To ring in the changes to the new ladder structure, Blizzard also released a new Welcome Bundle, which will include 10 classic packs and a guaranteed Legendary Dragon card from the classic set to get you started for $5. It's early October again, which means the big Diablo news is, of course, Speculation about Diablo 4, except this time there may actually be something to it. This week, Blizzard announced the schedule for BlizzCon, and well, look at this! That's the Diablo What's Next panel in the main hall, immediately following the opening ceremonies. I mean, the only reason they do that is, it can't be. Do you think? Well, a lot of people do. So here's hoping our Diablo news segment is about to get a lot more interesting. As much as there is to be excited about, however, it seems that there's a bit of growing dissent about the idea of Diablo 4. Some feel that the story of Diablo has reached its limit, and others speculate that in order to be interesting, they'd have to go backwards in story. Which, hey, it worked for Star Wars, didn't it? Either way, a new Diablo title would give Blizzard a chance to reinsert themselves into a genre that seemed to develop and thrive despite a lack of new Diablo content. But hey, if Blizzard can't produce more Diablo games, I have one. Okay. All right. Again? Yeah. Infinite, okay. infinite amount of times. Infinite I can come games. Up. Yes. Yes. Infinite Diablo games. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read you lines and they could be quotes from the Lord of Terror himself, or they could be uh, lyrics from grunge songs. Okay. Actually, uh, here's, a, here's an example. This one isn't necessarily a grunge artist, but they are uh, uh, from Seattle or founded in Seattle. Uh, an example would be, uh, I will possess your heart. Oh, Death Cab. Okay. Yeah. Death yeah. Cab for so you see, But you see how it could be confusing. I see that. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Here we go. First one. The sky shall rain fire and the seas will become as blood. This is going to be hard. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the shall seems to me to denote that it's a Diablo quote. It is. Ah, good job. I'm off to a strong start. Yep, yep. Very good. Whatsoever I fought of, fought off became my life. Just when every day seemed to greet me with a smile, sunspots have faded. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a Diablo quote. No. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> no, I didn't do that on purpose. Oh. I began to doubt myself. Oh. <laughs> you have me doubting myself. Oh, well, <laughs> yes. No, that is Soundgarden. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bear witness to the power of terror, Angel. That's a Diablo. That has to be a Diablo quote. Yeah, I thought the angel would throw you angel off. Like kind angel, of like a angel got me like there. a angel. I don't know. Why would you want to hurt me? Oh, so frightened of your pain. Oh, so frightened of your pain. Why would you want to hurt me? Oh, so frightened of your pain. It's got good meter to it, you know. 
it's got sort of a grungy meter to it. Does it? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say that's a grunge lyric. It is. It's Nirvana. Yeah. 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 He's the one who likes all of our pretty songs, and he likes to sing along, and he likes to shoot his gun, but he knows not what it means. Uh, this would be a really great sort of Coheed and Cambria lyric. It's not grungy as much as, but still, you know, it would be a very great sort of epic ballad lyric. I'm going to say grunge lyric. It is. Yeah. It's Nirvana. Okay. More Nirvana. Not even death can save you from me. Either a a threatening Diablo line, obviously, right? Or um, a pining lover, uh, right? Who who wants to forever be with his I will eternal possess love, your heart. right? Yeah, 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 with his eternal love. So yeah. not even death can can save you from being with me, which also is creepy. Neither I don't want this said to me. <laughs> Either way. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to say that's a grunge lyric. Nope. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> that was already No, <laughs> no, no. That was the from the, the Lord of Terror himself, Diablo. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is actually one of the, uh, I went into a poll, and that is mm -hmm. one of the uh, most favorited, most coveted lines that Diablo actually speaks. Perfect. I'm getting that tattoo. Great. On October 9th, Overwatch will launch their recurring seasonal event, Halloween Terror 2018. Along with this, we got our first look at a legendary skin for the event. So, coming in first place for this year's sexiest fish man, it's Doomfist as Swamp Monster Doomfist. He, of course, takes the title from reigning champion Shape of Water Fish, who, of course, took the title from the crab from Moana. Blizzard also introduced some officially licensed Overwatch costumes for kids and adults. How is it that adults dressed in costumes seems utterly appropriate to me on every day of the year except Halloween? My guess is I'll be seeing more of these wandering around BlizzCon than on October 31st, but hey, they're at Walmart apparently in Party City, so go crazy. Lastly for Overwatch, we got our first peek at the upcoming Overwatch Lego set. A preview which featured Jeff Kaplan awkwardly pretending to see a living Tracer Lego toy zipping around the table, be less excited Jeff, was posted on the Overwatch Twitter account. He seemed unimpressed, and I kind of know what he means. I mean. Lego Overwatch toys? I don't know if that's really the best use of everyone. Who am I kidding? I want them. I really, really want them. We should be getting a look at some other Overwatch characters in Lego form in the next few weeks. And that's it. That's it? That's it? What did you think about the news? No, it was great. This week, I mean, a lot, especially with BlizzCon. So... Do you know what you're going to be doing? Do we have a, do you have a game plan for BlizzCon? Schedule-wise? Yeah. Um, well, my favorite thing at BlizzCon is actually uh, the WCS Global Finals. I, so I love watching. So one of my favorite things is grabbing a beer, the nachos, adding some jalapenos <laughs> uh, at like nine in the morning um, and uh, just watching. Just nothing better. Yeah, you know what we didn't even talk about is the uh, the snowball. We didn't talk about the, we did the May snowball. No. There's a magnetic snowball toy. I pre-ordered it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You did? I did. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the dog. All right, so then there's going to be a snowball on the on the table yes so. well also you know soon after blizzcon it's going to change for a little bit of the scenery for holidays so we'll oh, we'll figure true. that we got a lot to add accoutrement yeah yeah okay. yeah is that, yeah, is that what that word means no i think those are like toppings oh yeah. <laughs> for like cheese right well, thank you for watching. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video or the news or our hair, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Upvote. No, that's not how that's not how oh, YouTube works. That's not. <laughs> no, we are on YouTube. Yeah. Got it. Uh, if you can find a way to upvote, do that too. Or share with your friends if you know people who enjoy this type of thing, who enjoy video games, not just Blizzard games. Go ahead, give us a share. And keep your eye out in the next few weeks for some special BlizzCon content. And that is it for Well Met. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.